All right, Willie, where are you, mate? Stand up. <laughs> He's our next Eagle, boys. Well done, mate. Playing <laughs> first game. Um, good luck this week. I know it's, uh, it's been a long road, mate, but you fully deserve it. And even from last year, what you've done for yourself and your family, we can't wait to see you play. So well done. Yeah, well, uh, we had a uh, group meeting here with uh, one of the Philadelphia uh, sports and conditioning coaches. And um, yeah, he told me to stand up in front of the group and um, yeah, congratulate, congratulated me um, then in front of the boys. So. Uh, he said, you know, all the work I've, I've been doing um, all pre-season and um, last season as well. And um, yeah, definitely all that work has kind of paid off. And um, yeah, just um, he was happy to give me an opportunity um, this week. So yeah, How are you Oh, like I said, it's still sinking in. Uh, I told a few of the boys, it's um, you know, my childhood dream and um, to, play, to, to play AFL. And um, yeah, definitely taking a uh, few I'm like still sinking in at the moment, but um, I think yeah, by, by this afternoon, I think it's slowly um, sinking and I can start prepping for, for, for the game. So. And uh, on the game, you'll have a lot of family at the game. Tell me about who might be there and, um, and how special it will be to have them there. Yeah, definitely. I'll ha have mum and dad there and um, my two sisters and um, hopefully yeah, my, my partner and little fella can make it over as well. Uh, little fella's sick at the moment, but um, yeah, hopefully he can get up get up to uh, come over for the weekend. So. And Cole has to take it on. He sits it to the top of the square. Darling again, no off hands. And Rioli will finish the goal with a clever snap. Try and play it cleverly here. The pressure comes. A good body use. That's well done. But Rioli's got it. He's dancing around. And looking for a target as well. Sam Rowe. Almost a year since he last played for the Blues with a knee injury. With a punt there down, he was outnumbered, and as a result, Riala is going to get the chance to steer it through. And steer it through he has to give the Eagles back the lead, full of joy. He's got him behind the defence, and he'll juggle the mark. He can send it over the top, will go himself. The rolling ball will go end on end, and it'll go home. Willie Rioli. Darling, outstanding trap. Rioli. Sidestep was good, found time and space, but he should really have none. Strong body, able to get a handball away to Marston. Rioli's after this. Brilliant from Rioli. He's paid the mark. Oh, fantastic. It looks yeah, like he crumbed his own mark. He did, yeah. <laughs> That's about waist height. Have a look at the attempted fend-off. Well done by Rioli. He wasn't going to take no for an answer there. Now, how did he dispose of the ball would be the question. Rioli to level up the scores again. He loves the goal. Was well short. Waterman had to turn around. Found himself against Pendlebury. My check. Beat Marston. Rioli. There was only a small opening, but that's all that was needed. He's a Rioli after all. Paul came to Duggan. Slams on the boot. Stratton and Rioli. Oh, a monster. Feeds it to the forward point. Now Haynes, he falls. Rioli, who probably owes the one to his own advantage. Ducked out of it. Lost it. Went and got it again. Gave it to Gav. Oh. Off the scale. In game 14, the biggest moment of his career. To make it a two-kick margin. It's long. It's strong. It's free. Little fumble. Vardy worried him out of it. Turned inside. Rioli. First chance he's had. Keeps it low. And spears home. A brilliant goal. Look who's running the goal. It's Rioli. Does he try and thread the needle? Oh. Rioli <laughs> says, I don't need my hands. I can just strike it like one of the best international strikers in the world. Over the top, Ryan, if he can get it. They eventually work it into the hands of Rioli it is. And he kicks a much-needed goal. McGovern drop one. Opens the door. Chance has gone begging, though Thomas got run down. And in the end, it goes to Kennedy, but a lot of troops had arrived by the time they got it in there. Langman tries to rush it, puts it off the ball. I think he got a boot to that. I think he did too. I think it's a goal. Goal 
Sack out with a spoil it down. Main under real pressure. Rioli, spin, grips, goal. Superb from the Eagles, Rioli. Number 44, Willie Rioli. Certainly I am, uh, Jason. There, there are Riolis everywhere down here. Cyril, Dean, you can see Daniel there. Uh, uh, Dean, maybe. And, and of course, Willie. Uh, Willie Senior here. This is the dad of Willie who's debuted today. We'll come to you in a moment. Dean, uh, incredibly proud moment, surely. Oh, look, it's been a long journey for young Willie. So, obviously, all the family's here to, um, you know, come and cheer him on. But he's had to go the long way, but it's finally here, which is fantastic for the family. What about you, Dad? How are you feeling? Oh, look, very proud. Um, you know, like it's been, like your son there said, Dean, um, it's been a long time. Um, and just to finally see him out there, he's actually running around in, in actually AFL games, it's fantastic. How have you rated him out of 10 so far, Daniel? Well, we've still got another half to go, so I'll probably rate him after the game. He's going well so far, it's his first game, but um, no, he should go well. His hands are so quick, Cyril, he's been caught a couple of times throwing the pill. I mean, that's it. He's, he's just playing his normal game. He's getting, he's getting, the, he's getting the ball, so, um, you know, it's good to see him out there today. Now, there's a whole group of you here today. Now, come on, uh, talk us through what's going on here today, Willie. What's going on, mate? Who, who we got? No, no, well, we've got Willie's, uh, Willie's friends over there, Jack and, um, and Dominic and then uh, young... Um, and he's a few of his uh, in-laws here, his yeah. in-laws are Sam there and his nieces and his little sister Kathleen and his mother there, right there in front, his Georgina, mom. that's his mum. Yep, yeah. Willie and his sister Nikita and his other favourite Eagles... Donna, she's now, a Mad Eagle supporter, that now, one. Now, take us back a little bit, because all, all these guys will be aware of it, and all you guys will be aware of it, and I'm aware of it, because I was a South Mantle supporter with Sebastian, and then I played with Morris. Take us back, and what's the connection with Morris and Sebastian? Yeah, and I'm the youngest of uh, ten family, um, so, yeah, with Cyril and Helena Rioli, um, and being the youngest, yeah, so I, and when it comes to Dean and Bradley, they're, you know, like, Daniel's father, Bradley, the oldest of the grandchildren, so that's where it sort of, sort of extends from. Um, and then obviously it was Cyril's dad, you know, Cyril, so yeah. All right, so we've got Riolis everywhere, but yeah. now what I want to know, Dean, you're, you're a fair judge. Who's, who's the best of the ball? We know Cyril's played in four grand finals. Let's put those aside and just talk about best player in the backyard. Oh, in the backyard? Yeah, Stephen Rioli. So Stephen's up there at the moment. He's very, very freakish. Um, so, yeah, no doubt he's watching TV, so he'll be loving this at the moment. How old is Stephen? Uh, Stephen will be 28, 30, so he's around that age, but he's uh, yeah, at home now. He fancies himself, Cyril? Oh, yeah, back in the day, he was, he was my hero growing up, so... Sebastian was my hero, played with South Mantle. He was an unbelievable player, yep. and, of course, Morris as well. Yeah, and also, Willie's other half, obviously, I've got to say it, that his mother is a Vagona, Benny Vagona. That's right, Benny Vagona, what a great so player. Look at that. So, and also, so that's his favourite, Artie Donna there, and, he, you know, obviously the mother, and also there was a Ronnie Burns here. So really? Ronnie is his cousin. From, right. And so, I just I just saw Josh Hill here before. Yep. What, what, how the hell does he fit into the whole connection oh, of this show? He's part of the group, mate. He just, you know, he just fits in the family perfectly. Right. <laughs> hey, Daniel, how are you going coming to watch a game and not playing and... You've got people around, and uh, is it all right? Can you actually watch in peace? Oh, well, I was a bit, a bit nervous uh, to start watching it, but um, it's a bit, I'll be pre pretty jealous as well being injured and watching it from the stands, but um, no, I'm excited and uh, it should be a good game at the end, in the end. Hey, Dean, are you a full book on what Riolis mean to football? We're so excited about it. You know, Cyril's still going around, Daniel providing, and Willie today. It's just, it's, it's just an incredible name involved with football, and it's uh, great to see it continue. Oh, it is. Look, there's a couple of really exciting ones coming through, but I think we're just proud, um, you know, for all Willie playing his first one. I don't know all the people at, on the Tiwi Islands that my grandma will be watching at the moment, so... Uh, they'll be all tuned in as well. So we know it's a, a special day for Willie, but it is a proud moment for the whole family. Well, the whole Rioli family. Good luck to you tomorrow, Cyril. Thank you very much, Dino. Thanks, mate. Daniel, and of course, Dad. Wow, what a day for you. Ah, oh, thank you, Brian. Come on, Dad. <laughs> yeah, but no, no, I'm sort of taking it all in, so all good, mate. Second half of footy to come next.
cruised off the ground. Gunston tried to half volley. Rioli brilliantly done. Sets up another soccer goal. Oh, that's not messy. That's a... Rioli does really well. Keeps it in play. Gets it back. Tucked in the pocket. Banana. Oh. A suburban football club that became a place for change. An 18-year-old boy with a beaming smile who left the Tiwi Islands 45 years ago to follow a dream, oblivious to what he was starting. He started a line, a lineage of Riolis that mm. came through generation after generation that were all uh, not only great footballers, fantastic people. Brian Sicatosto, or Sicko, and Stephen Michael are two more of the fantastic people in this story. Childhood heroes of mine. One, a son of Italian immigrants. The other, a Noongar man from WA Southwest. South Fremantle Football Club legends. The people at that club and the boys who sell, what's plays, they looked after one another. Sebastian's prodigiously talented brother Morris joined him at the Bulldogs. Then came Benny Vagona and Basil Campbell. Melville Island was a production line of South Frio stars. Darling of the crowd, Basil Campbell. People flocked to the football to watch them play. The Rioli line continued through Dean, Cyril, Will, and now Daniel at Richmond. It's a Rioli name, it's just unbelievable. I don't think you ever see that again in, in, in a culture of, of uh, footballers. But tragedy struck the family with the deaths of both Morris and Sebastian within two years of each other. To everyone else, he is Mr. Magic, but to my brother, sister and cousins, he is our pop. Love you, love you, pop. Brian and Stephen were at the Darwin funerals of their Bulldogs brothers, but they've never made it to the Tiwis until now. We came to the funerals of Morris and Sibby, but, but uh, unable to uh, visit the island with races. It's like a little uh, nostalgic trip back to pay our respects. Chronic injuries eventually saw Basil Campbell return to Melville Island. The meeting point for any catch-up is the home of the remarkable Helena Rioli. You'll have great grandchildren. A mum who farewelled a son all that time ago. I was hoping he'd do well, you know, find happiness down there. And he did. And he did, yeah. yeah. And he really did pave the way, didn't he, for yes, so many more Yes, for all his brothers. Yeah. It's very humble that the family got around the grandmother. The respect that they have for their uh, grandmother. And every young girl or young boy that walked into that yard today, beeline, beeline straight, for her, straight for her to give her a hug and a kiss and say hello to Nana. And, uh, and it's really no different to the Italian heritage. And, and other things. Uh, the, the grandmother holds a special place. Mm. Scoreboard flank, Rioli the flyer. Now, there weren't laws in the game, there weren't laws in, in leagues and states around the country for how to deal with racism and blokes of other colour and he went down there and did what he thought was right and he set the right example for them to follow and we still are today, yeah. Just a few hundred metres from Helena's home are the graves of her eldest boys. Sibby Sebastian Gerard Rioli. 17th of January 1954 to the 3rd of May 2012. And I tend to uh, walk away and gather my thoughts and take a bit deep breath and I come back. Because mm. if I talk too much about Sibia, I tend to get a little bit emotional. Mm. But, you know, that's, that's the sort of impact he had. South Fremantle was like a, a family club for us, uh, especially the uncles going through there. Always heard about Sicko, they always talk about him, so it was actually nice to finally put a face to the name. Isn't that lovely? Treat everybody the same. That's right, yeah. Black, white, mm. Greek, anything. We do. Whatever. In the cabinets and old photos at Darwin St Mary's Footy Club, an essential piece of this story, the Saints broke the white mould in Territory football in the early 50s. For the first time, Aboriginal players could truly showcase their stuff. The Tiwi Talent House has racked up the premierships ever since. And today we see guys like Buddy Franklin and Cyril Rioli Jr. and all these guys doing those magical things that we white people can only think about. I, think that's right. I might have been an exception though. <laughs> You're a humble man, Brian. <laughs> but this man has Morris Rioli emerges a beautiful long kick. Like I never got to see 
obviously see them play, but you see it obviously highlights and it gives you goosebumps that they actually went down there and snuck it out. And Once you see people come from nowhere to achieve greatness, there's an opportunity for everyone. And anywhere in Australia, if you want something badly enough and you work hard enough, you can achieve it. And that's the great part about this country anyway. Yeah, we got an opportunity to, to travel up north and spend a bit of time with Willie and his family. We, we, uh, Jay, Jamie Graham and I took our boys, so it was a bit of a father-son bonding trip. Then we went up to the Tewe for three or four days to experience some of Willie's culture and meet his family. For me, um, personally, to um, have Simo come up there, I've, you know, someone that means so much to, to my life right now, um, you know, living away. Is playing at the top level and to have your senior coach you know I don't know, don't know too many senior coaches that that go up to indigenous places homes and um, I guess um, get to get to live how you how I got to live growing up so um, for me it was uh, definitely a respect thing to to, um, to get off Simo and um, no doubt um, it was an eye-opener for him and definitely a great experience you know, um, you know for him and Jamie as well. Oh it was a fantastic opportunity for Simo and I and our young boys Hudson and Owen to go up to the island. One, we got to connect uh, with our sons, but the main purpose, I suppose, of the trip was to get up there and connect more with Willie and, and his family. But meeting Willie and his family and getting appreciation of his culture was really important for me personally to try and understand where he's come from and to get to the AFL system from such a remote area is, um, it's just astonishing. There's so many magnificent players from the Tiwi. I mean, uh, the Long families from up there as well. And you know, Willie took us to this secluded beach where it was a long family owned a certain section or it was their patch of land and the Rioli patch of land, I was right, right next to each other. So that was, it was just a unique experience. You know, the sacrifices to one, leave their family. Uh, with the Aboriginal boys, um, like anyone, you're connected to your family, but there's a real love for each other. And that was a big move, not only for Willie, but also Lucy um, with their little baby Martin. So that's a big move. Um, secondly, the land, it's uh, beautiful. You've got mango trees, uh, beautiful beaches, um, wa fresh watering holes, fish, you know, Barramundi, it's amazing and you got to come down the big smoke and try and forge your career, so it's a big thing. But one thing we do, did notice is AFL's massive in the TV Islands. Um, they played in our off season because of the uh, weather conditions and then in AFL season they're all still playing it and, and supporting a team. We went and watched some training, we trained with them a little bit and um, that was unique as well. And you know, in terms of the Tiwi time, you know, training was at, started at four, about quarter to five, I reckon everyone rocked up, which, once again, a bit more appreciation of uh, time. And, um, you know, they go by the sun rather than the clock, which, uh, which was unique. And just how tight they are as a family. You know, the whole community is a family, it's not just the immediate family. So that was definitely something to, to really appreciate. For Willie, he's got a good opportunity to be a real role model for the, for the young um, Aboriginal boys and girls up there and um, yeah he's he's living the dream at the moment and, and playing good footy. For me um, personally it was yeah definitely I'll, something I'll cherish forever. I pride myself on, you know, I want to be a one club player and, um, you know, I've been, you know, I've moved around playing footy around in Australia and I never got to play over 50 games at one club. So uh, West Coast has been, you know, a great support for me and my family, you know, since I've moved over here and, you know, I'm grateful for the club for, you know, giving me the opportunity even though last year I didn't play much footy. So um, to, um, for them to, you know, to give me another two years, I'm, I'm, you know, I didn't want to say no. And, you know, West Coast has been a um, great friend club for me and no doubt I um, want to repay the favour. From 50, look, he strikes that perfectly. Right through the middle from Willie Rioli. Yeah, no doubt, it's everything I thought it would be. You know, the, the atmosphere, the crowd, you know, all I ever dreamed of doing and, you know, to do it on the, at, at the top level is, you know, something I, um, still pinch myself every day getting on the bus with you know guys like Nick Nat, Mark McCraw, 
you know, Josh Kennedy, you know, it's something I still, still definitely um, don't take for granted.